Hi wonderful humans, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new around here, my name is Juk Guan. I'm a watercolor floral artist and CEO of Modern Meliora, a watercolor floral stationery brand. In today's video, I want to share with you my process from creating an original watercolor painting to making printed greeting cards. Interested in learning more about how I do that? Well, stay tuned for the rest of this video. As always, please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel to stay updated on my next uploads. Now let's get into this video. My card making process typically involves multiple days because I will make lots of watercolor paintings and then wait until I have a good stack of art in order to scan them in. The first thing I usually do is sit down and paint. Sometimes I don't really have a specific flower or composition in mind, I just let the paints and paper guide me until I have a completed piece. In this time lapse, you can see how I paint these pretty florals. I've been really into painting outdoors since the weather is so nice out in the springtime and I'm very inspired to paint all the different flowers that I see during car rides and trips to the park. I absolutely think my favorite weather is spring and all the blooming flowers bring me so much joy. After I'm done painting, I will typically wait until I have a stack of paintings that are all ready to get scanned. For my business, I purchased a great quality scanner secondhand and it works perfectly for my scanning needs. Since I make green cards and other types of stationery, I wanted a scanner that had a high resolution or DPI in order to capture all the details in my paintings. Therefore, in addition to a great quality scanner, I needed a great quality printer in order to make the best quality cards I could. My scanner is the Epson Perfection V19 and the printer is Epson Stylus Photo R3000. Both machines are extremely powerful at what they do and I'm very happy that I was able to purchase them at a very reduced cost since they're both secondhand. Pro tip, if you're planning to make high quality cards at home, I recommend getting a printer that is meant for art prints. The quality between my regular old $20 printer from Best Buy during a Black Friday sale versus this Epson Stylus Photo R3000 is noticeable and 100% worth it for me to go with a better printer. Anyway, after I scan all of my paintings and save it in my computer, I use a software called LibreOffice, which is similar to Microsoft Word and is free in order to create my cards. 
LibreOffice makes it easy for me to remove the background on my scanned paintings and manipulate the image like a PNG file. For any type of lettering on my cards, I actually letter them myself with the use of my iPad and Procreate app. I save these files as a PNG with the background removed so it makes it easier for me to create new cards with the same hand lettered phrases. After making sure that my dimensions are correct and my logo is on the back of my card, I press print. Since my printer can print in really high resolution, it often takes a long time to print each card. However, I think it's worth it for the time being since I'm a relatively new business and hopefully in the future I can outsource my card designs to bigger print shops. So there you have it! This is how I turn my original watercolor paintings into printed greeting cards that are available in my Etsy shop. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll get back to you. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye!